Well, it's championship week. Uh, we are absolutely fired up uh, that we get an opportunity to play at home for our number one goal in this program is the, the Mountain West Championship. Uh, obviously bitterly disappointed after how we played on Friday, uh, but it doesn't detra detract from our main goal, and that's to uh, go 1-0 and this week, and if we do, we got a chance to win the Mountain West Championship. So we're excited about the opportunity to play a really strong Utah State team, uh, a really resilient team. You know, a team that lost their leader and quarterback, in Chucky Keaton, but uh, have continued to roll and win the mountainside. So uh, looking for, you know, a great matchup of the best defense in the league versus the best offense in the league, and I think it's going to be a compelling matchup. You weren't the only uh, favorite team to take a tumble in a rivalry game this last weekend. At the very top, we saw what happened to Alabama in, in crazy fashion, and there were a few other examples around the country. Does that... Does that kind of put it in perspective for your team and, and make it a little easier to focus moving forward, knowing you're not the only ones that had something like that happen? I don't know that that makes it easier, um, and perhaps so for some guys, but uh, it's something that, that happened. We've got to own it. We've got to correct it, uh, our mistakes and move forward. And you know, that's why our mantra the entire year has been 1-0. It doesn't matter if we won or lost the previous week. We've got to go 1-0 this week. And uh, if our guys will continue to focus, I know we will. Uh, on our preparation uh, against Utah State and not worry about last week's game because that one's over. It's, it's making the corrections and, and going forward. We talked a lot all season about uh, the luxury of learning some lessons in victories and now you had a defeat. What lessons do you think your team can learn from what happened Friday? Well, we're going to have to learn a lesson of, of resilience and, and resolve. Uh, anytime you lose, uh, you, can, you can take it two ways. You can feel sorry for yourself and you know, you've got about 24 hours to do that, but uh, at some point you've got you've to now turn that fire on and resolve not to let that, that horrible feeling happen again. And I know our guys are, are committed to working to correct the, uh, the issues we had. Uh, we're, we're excited that we have one more game to play so that that's not our final game, that, that final taste that, that's left in your mouth, and be able to have the final, you know, uh, home game for all of our seniors and be playing for the inaugural Mountain West Championship, I can't figure a better way to, to get over that feeling than, than having that opportunity this Saturday. Utah State, uh, seven points the last two games combined against two really high scoring offenses in Colorado State and Wyoming. What do they do defensively that has uh, held teams uh, in check? So well, I'll tell you two things. that They've got really good players and really good coaches and, and that's, that's a good combination. They're, they're very physical up front. Uh, they run a scheme similar to ours. They'll base out of 3-4 personnel, but get into multiple fronts. Uh, they play very, very uh, physical defense. They tackle well. They chase the ball well. They play very, very hard and very, very sound. And you know, when, when you do that with, with good players, uh, it makes it difficult on offenses. And so uh, we'll have to be very efficient. We'll have to uh, you know, make some explosive plays and it, you know, because it's going to be a tough game to chip the ball down the field against a good defense like this. We're going to have to have some chunk plays. Do you think you faced a, a secondary better than this this year? I don't know. They're, 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 they're probably as good as we've played all year as, as a total defense. Uh, and secondary-wise, I'd probably have to think about it. You know, San Diego State, I thought, had some really good players on the back end. Uh, but, you know, I think very, very comparable. And what are the chances you have Josh Harper to use against that secondary? Uh, he's questionable right now. Uh, we'll see as, as the week goes. Did you see an impact from that, a, a ripple effect in your San Jose game, losing him so early? Uh, you know, Josh is one of the better players in the league, so losing him obviously hurt, but I thought uh, Justin Johnson came in, did a, did a really nice job. Uh, you know, it's football. You know, guys are going to go down, someone's got to step up. So, uh, you know, I thought we still were able to move the ball offensively, uh, not take anything away from San Jose State, but in the second half, you know, we did some things to hurt ourselves with dumb penalties. So uh, I don't think that had anything to do with, with not having Josh. Uh, it, was, it was more self-inflicted. Question in the back here. Coach, do you have an update on Jamal Ellis? Uh, yeah, he's going to be questionable as well. Uh, you know, he had a lower leg injury, and uh, uh, we'll see. He looked better yesterday than, than our trainers thought coming out of Saturday, so we'll see. Other questions? On Ellis, what was the impact of, of losing him in that game for you? Because it seemed like, you know, once the death became an issue, kind of had to drop some guys back in coverage, couldn't get the pass rush on. Was that kind of the ripple of having him out of the game? Yeah, you know, clearly, uh, you know, we're, we're down a couple corners before, you know, uh, uh, he had to play and he
he got hurt. I, you know, it appeared to me on tape a couple plays before. Before tried to play through it, uh, and then he then he tried to push off his leg on, on a double move and, and just couldn't compete. And you know, uh, it's tough. It's it's tough when it, when a guy wants to compete, but it, but if you're not healthy enough to play, you know, it ends up hurting the team. But uh, uh, can't question his heart. Can't comp- you know question his competitive spirit. Um, you know that hurt us. You know we gave up a you know a big uncontested throw. Um, and then we, you know, had to do some things that, that had a little bit of a ripple effect on our substitution packages because, you know, it's the end of the season. Just like most teams, we're, we're down some numbers, and that's football. It's no, it's no excuse. We, we've got to figure it out. Question back here. Coach, when you talked about <clears throat> owning and correcting mistakes from Friday, when you look at the defense, what was the most glaring spots that you needed to correct? Oh, well, I think clearly uh, in in the back end, we, we've got to do a much better job of playing our technique, having eye discipline, knowing when to turn and run, being physical on receivers, making tackles in space. I mean, there's a long, 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 long laundry list that uh, we've got to, you know, get corrected. And, uh, you know, we're going to look at some different personnel this week, and, and we'll go from there. Early on, uh, well, the whole game was tough to get pressure on fails, but early on they weren't even getting to third down. Was that you know kind of taking you out of, of your blitzing mentality that you weren't in the situation you wanted to trigger that? No doubt. Uh, you know, our our defense is kind of predicated in getting guys into second and long, third and long, so we can you know get into some of our sub packages and, and get a little bit more exotic with with pressures. Um, they were doing a nice job on first and second down of throwing the ball down the field and, and getting us on our heels, and uh, we've got to do a much better job of playing balls in the air, of, of not having our eyes stuck in the backfield. And, and I mean, it's, it's got to be coached better. It's got to be you know, executed better on, on, on game day. And I don't want to stick you in Friday and, and make you dwell on that. But obviously, the onside kick was a glaring point and a huge moment in the ball game. Is there something that could have prepared your team better for that moment? I mean, if we put our hands team out there, uh, but I, I don't think you, you anticipate putting your hands team out there you know, with the team having a one point lead. Um, they did a good job of executing it. You know, we talked to our guys at halftime. I talked to them personally right before they went on out to see the ball kicked. We practiced it last week n- numerous times, thinking that you know this would be a game that that uh, San Jose State may try to steal possession. So, uh, you know, we practiced it. We talked to them about it as we set them out. Um, their kicker made a heck of a kick and made a heck of a play. Um, you know, at, at some point, you know. During the game, you got to give them credit for for out executing us, and uh, you know you, you tip your hat to them for doing that. Your impressions of their freshman quarterback and schematically, do you attack a freshman who has five games experience totally different than you would say a fails? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're talking two different offenses too, Jesse. Um, uh, I, I think you know being multiple in our coverage and our disguises, we can you know hopefully uh, make it a little bit. Confusing to to a younger player, uh, but he's done a heck of a job. I mean, he's he's managed the games very very well. He's he's athletic. He can run. Uh, they're doing a nice job with their play action game and taking vertical shots. Um, you know, we're going to have to try to get them into second long situations and third long situations. If we do that, we'll have a chance. If we, if we don't, you know, we're we're going to have some issues. Coach, taking your whole season up to Friday into account. What maybe disappointed you the most about your performance on Friday? Um, yeah, I, I don't know r- relative to the whole season, but uh, on Friday I was, I was probably most disappointed in the second half that we didn't have the resolve that even though we were in a fight, even though we were we were taking some punches, we, we didn't respond as well as we, we had all year and uh, uh, how we should have. And you know, that's on me. I, I've got to get our, our guys responding better. And we will. We'll have a great practice this week, and we'll be ready for Saturday. If they're moving forward, if there's one thing that coaching staff is going to harp on this week, you know, what, what might be the, the primary maybe coaching uh, point this week? It's just continue to compete no matter what the score is. And, you know, when you start playing teams that have good players and, and are good teams, they practice too. They're going to make some plays. You've got to have a fight mentality. Forget it and drive on. And if you're worried about the last play and starting to doubt yourself, you're going to have issues. You know, we, we talk about you know truth and love being the core values of this program. You've got to trust in yourself first, and you start losing trust in yourself or you know losing trust in your teammates, things start falling apart. And we had that a little bit in the second half, where guys weren't trusting their teammates, and so now guys are, are 
their, their eye discipline's bad, they're trying to do some things that they normally wouldn't do, you can't have that in, in a football program and, and we're going to get that straightened out.